Now that you're getting familiar with the Unreal Engine user interface and know how to assign materials to static meshes, it's time to start building the architecture for your first apartment. Let's do this on a blank level. To create a blank level, we're going to go to File, New Level, Basic, and then click on Create. This sets up an empty level for you with the Sun Sky system. Next, we're going to navigate over to Content, Starter Content, and then Architecture. Inside this folder, you'll find a range of static meshes, all with width and height measurements, remember in centimeters, of wall doors, wall windows, and walls. And you can use these measurements to ensure that the pieces you choose will line up perfectly with other pieces of your apartment. I'm gonna start with a wall door, drag and drop that in there, and rotate this like this, so we have our doorway in place. Next, I'm going to grab wall 400 by 300. Remember, because I chose wall, wall door 400 by 300, I'm choosing wall 400 by 300. Just drag and drop it in there. And because we have snapping on, it's very easy to line these up. Right, so next in Unreal Engine, if you want to make copies of meshes, you have three techniques to do this. Number one is just a simple Control C, Control V. Now you can click and move your wall forward like this. Technique number two is select the mesh that you want to duplicate, Control D, and that's going to duplicate it and just offset it, just shift it a little forward and to the right here, just so you can see it that a copy exists on top of the original one. Technique number three is my favorite, where you hold the Alt key and then just click and drag on the axis you want to move your object in. And that's going to create a copy of it like this. And with that, we have one wall in place. Well, two pieces that make up one wall and a doorway. Now let's work on this back wall over here. I'm gonna click on this wall, click on the Rotate tool, and then Alt and drag. This makes another copy. And then I can simply move these into place again because snapping makes this entire process really easy. Once again, we will Alt and drag, and then repeat the process for the third wall. Now try not to get your walls to overlap. You want them not like this, but like this. They have to be not overlapping one another. Okay, so just Alt and drag again. And then one final one to close everything off. Now, you will see here that things aren't lining up and that's okay. You just go adjust the walls, move them around till they do sit perfectly over one another. And you can see gaps are showing up here. Okay, so we've got our wall pieces. There's still a little bit of a gap here, which likely means that I need to move these a little like this and we can see everything is now lined up. All the corners are closed off. So we have the four walls of our apartment ready to go. Now I'm just going to create another section over here for where we're going to build kind of the bathroom area. And again, Alt and drag, just create the general kind of areas where you're going to create stuff. Remember, don't worry too much about being perfect. You just want to Think of this as Sims, and then you're, you're making kind of rooms and figuring out where they're going to be. Okay, so with our four walls in place, and we figured out that there has to be a section here for the bathroom, maybe the bedroom over here, the kitchenette over here, and uh, maybe a, a desk or a workbench here. It's time to then swap out both of these wall pieces with window walls. Now, the great thing about the architecture meshes is because they're all the same size, so for example, the wall window is also 400 by 300. I can simply click on this, select the wall window 400 by 300 and use selected asset. This is going to change out the static mesh for this actor with the one that we've selected in the content browser. Now you could also alternatively just do this by dragging wall window in here and then rotating it to wherever you want it to be. Both techniques are fine. They both get the job done the same way. Now, of course, our bathroom needs an entry, so I'm just going to delete this and alt and drag this piece in like this. Again, the great thing about this is all the pieces have more or less the same size, so they're just going to fit in like Lego blocks uh, within one another. And with that, we have the general architecture of our apartment figured out. In the next video, we're going to set up our floors along with assigned materials to all of our wall pieces.